Doing a quick unboxing of the Inwin 805. The reason I bought this case was that it is very unique compared to all the other ones out there. Nothing against all the Corsairs or Thermal Takes out there, but I really like this and I thought it was very different from the typical. Um, I'm cheating. Uh, took this thing out of the box about 15 minutes ago and then realized that I should probably do an unboxing video because there were some things that other unboxing videos were missing that I had questions on. So I'm going to try to answer those questions for people who may be wondering as well. So, only thing that's missing is a box here and four pads that go on the top. Um, first thing that you're going to get on top is one of these guys. It says it's a headphone hanger, but I've seen people use it to position the glass, the glass side panels. I think it's pretty cool. Just threw it in there, didn't even know it was coming. Next is a little clear baggie with some clips and some looks like washers and zip ties and some screws in there and a cleaning pad, a uh, microfiber towel, I guess. All right, I'll probably go through that later. All right, I'm gonna be right back. So here's the star of the show, the Inwin 805. Got glass on the right side, glass on the front, glass on the left side. Top is a brushed aluminum, very smooth. However, you can feel a little bit of texture to it. Um, got these thumb screws, which are pretty cool. Uh, it makes taking the side panel off easier. So, in the back, it looks like we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight slots. It's missing the little side brackets, which that's cool if you're into that sort of thing. Heard a couple complaints online reading that you may have issues fitting your motherboard uh, I.O. shield in there. I don't know. haven't gotten that far yet. Uh, should be able to fit typical sized uh, power supplies. And it comes with an N1 brand, I'm assuming, uh, fan in the back. And that's the only fan in here. All right, I'm going to take the panel panels off and be right back. So as I said, glass panels are held on by these little thumb screws. And we got these little rubber grommets right here. Uh, try and get it to focus. I don't know if I would trust them to hold the glass panel on without the without thumb screws in there. Uh, when I took them all off, the glass panel stayed there, but it looked like it was just hanging on by a thread. So just be careful. Tempered glass probably isn't the cheapest thing. All right, so then we got the hard drive uh, mounting stuff down here. One for here, one here for the uh, the SSD. Two solids, or I'm sorry, SSD and hard disk drives, um, mechanical drives. Over here you got room for a two, 120 or a 140, two of those. Um, one concern I've read online and I am concerned about is intake, intake air from, to cool anything. Um, from my nut, from what I've found out, all the air comes from right down here, right down here. Um, so anything you're getting to cool a radiator or to blow through your case is coming from a little slot down here. So, all right, I'll be right back. I'm gonna take off some more panels. So this one panel here for the two fans, as well as probably a radiator if you're into that sort of thing, are held on by thumb screws, which are very nice. Makes it a lot easier to remove stuff on this thing. Got plenty of room to work with, by the way. Oh, sorry. The room back here that you're dealing with is about a, maybe an inch and a half. Maybe a little bit less, maybe more. All right. Um, the glass, the front glass, is held on by these screws. 
So, an idea that I may have and think about doing later on is to loosen those screws and maybe throw in a shim or so or two to get this glass gap just like two millimeters or so wider to allow more airflow through there. Um, let me know in the comments if that sounds like a bad idea. I don't know, I'm not an engineer or anything. It looks like something that wouldn't be notice noticeable to the naked eye if uh, you're not totally looking for it. Alright, a hard drive tray that's held in there by unfortunately not uh, thumb screws. It's held in there by looks like just two Phillips screws. Maybe something underneath as well. I'll take this out and let you know how it goes. Alright, so on the left side you got these tiny, tiny screws. Um, I couldn't even guess. Maybe... I'm not even sure. Super tiny. Uh, make sure you're using a decent screwdriver. The right size or else uh, you're going to strip them out. I didn't and I almost did strip them out, so be careful. Um, got the, the screen down below, which I did not mention before. You've got room, I'm doing air quotes behind the camera, for two 120 mil fans. Uh, I'll take the word for it. Looks like it could be the truth. All right, and everything on this case is aluminum except for a few certain things. Um, the, fan, the case, um, the screen down below has magnets on it, so they've got spots where they threw either magnet or steel up in there, so that it just clips right on. Makes it real easy. All right, I'm gonna take out. That screw right there, and I don't see any other screws, so I'll be right back. So, in case you're wondering, the little feet that go in the bottom here to cover up the screws, there's one foot right there. Rubber foot, they are little cubes of rubber. Um, I took out the one screw here, and it's still in there, so I'm gonna take out just random screws until it starts coming out. So, be right back. Alright, so I found the sneaky last screw. All I did was I took out the two screws that hold the feet in. And there she is. Last one right there. Uh, side note, most stuff on here, like main body stuff, is riveted in, riveted together. But it's still in really good condition. I This is my first real case that I've ever bought so I don't have a whole lot to go off of but I am impressed. Um, if I saw this sitting in somebody else's house I'd think that it was a really nice case. Um, it is mine and I think it's a really nice case. Um, so yeah. Alright so now that I've got the hard drive cage out of the way this is probably the configuration I'm going to be rolling with. Um, Cables inside, decent. Um, a lot of them have the cheap snake skin. I guess that does the job. I'm not really into that sort of thing. Um, everything else is black, which is nice. Things that are not black are covered up by the black snake skin, so unfortunately you can sort of see the colors through them. That looks like a white cable in there. Yep. Anyways, so for the front side, two USB ports, got mic and headphone, I'm not which, sure which one's which, I guess it's up to me when I hook everything up, um, USB 3.0, USB 3.1, looks like some indicator lights right there, and then your power button, it's just a single small click, doesn't recess very very far, And that's it. I'm assuming that the power power uh, cut out there lights up. So, anyways, moving on. Um, 
All right, as for these SSD cages back here, they're cool. I like them a lot. Great idea. However, some people may run into issues like me. I just got this PNY SSD here. And let me know if I can get it out. Decent looking SSD. Got your, your ports right there. In order to get this thing logo up, you're gonna be up against that. That thumb screw there. And I can't see any other way, even up here, to keep the label uh, right side up. So I'm kind of at a crossroads. Um, it's all gonna be screwed in like that, upside down, which I'm not a huge fan of. Um, or I could just put it on the inside somewhere. I don't know. Anyways, these thumb screws here are captive, so they're not going anywhere, which I think is a great touch. Just slide in, throw your thumb screw in there, and you're done. All right, I'm about to wrap it up. Um, when I got this thing, I knew that cable management was going to be a nightmare because you can see the back and you can see where your gaggle of wires is. So managing your cable management is going to be a huge issue. Um, I've seen some guys do a really good job of getting their cable management uh, straight. And looking good um, other guys don't really care I'm gonna probably be one of those guys that do care um, so I'll probably post a video after I get everything put together um, tell you how it goes if I do shim this glass or not I don't know I don't know um, this fan's probably gonna be replaced by um, something with a lot more uh, a lot more ass behind it so so it pulls all the air out um, if you have any co questions or comments leave them down below uh, thank you have a good day so I pulled off the front the front glass panel um, I think it looks pretty cool as it is without the glass but obviously even cooler with the glass um, shimming it is going to be very difficult because they use the tiny screws on earth, I believe. Not really. Um, so, try to figure something out. Maybe throw some log longer screws in there. Um, throw a couple washers on there, maybe to separate from the, uh, from the case. Alright, so. Alright, so this is the stuff that was in that bag in the very beginning. Big old bag that was packed full of stuff. We got a booklet that says where everything goes, what everything does. We got that little towel thing that you use to clean off all the glass. Here's five clips that are good use for cable management. Careful, they are 3M sticky side, double double sided. Um, I'm assuming one one application they're done. Got ten zip ties. Got some extra thumb screws here, extra rubber grommet for the glass panels. You got a whole bunch of uh, screws for mounting your motherboard, standoffs and all that. 12 washers, I'm not exactly sure what these are supposed to be for, but I'm sure that the instruction manual will tell me. You got a whole bunch of screws here for the hard drive mounting. And then we've got some really coarse threaded screws, I'm assuming for your fans. So that'll do it guys. Thank you.